Okay guys, so I'm back from b, b Farm Toys. This is one of the uh, piles I ended up with, I guess. Uh, thought I'd go through these. I think these are what's most relevant to what you guys would like to see anyway. So I guess first up, uh, I ended up with a case of these new uh, Magnum 400 AFS Connect tractors. You'll see, um, I'll grab one here. So I want to do a couple customs of these, but I'll probably sell some of these new in the box as well. Uh, great looking tractor. I'll do a review on one of those this week, probably. Um, YouTube is still not processing videos correctly. We've still got a couple videos that are processing, um, so we'll see how that works out. But anyway, nice looking tractor. Got the new front end, of course, and uh, let's take a look at that in more detail in the coming days here. So... Let's get the other elephant in the room out of the way. Well, I say elephant. Actually, you know what? I've already got one of these out of the box, too. So here is the brand new Super Wildcat 2 uh, from Ertl. So these just hit hit the uh, states here as well. Nice looking tractor. Pretty good looking wheels and tires. Uh, of course, you got the uh, kind of uh, angled hood there on the front. Uh, dual exhaust up front, all that sort of thing. Really nice tractors. These are ripe for customization. They make really good custom tractors. There's a lot you can do with these. So look and uh, look forward to seeing what I do with those. And I may do a quick video on these too as well because they are a really nice stock tractor. So it might be worth checking that out just in stock form. Okay. <clears throat> now, pardon the mess here. I've got a little, little trash bag hanging there right now on the portable bench. Uh... So I'm pretty much going to pick up an 8440 any chance I get. These make great uh, project tractors. Uh, really nice looking customs if you just want to swap wheels and tires. Also add some handrails, mirrors, things like that. They really dress these up. Uh, and then if you want to get more aggressive with these, you can fill the hood seam and you can even repower these. And they look really nice repowered. Uh, I'm probably going to try to have one, at least one repower done for Lafayette, but we'll see. So here's an 8870 State Tractor. This one actually goes in the personal collection, uh, and it's going to get custom, but uh, this will end up in the personal collection. I'm going to triple it up. Uh, I've got a new high-detail rear end for this that I'm going to test print, and uh, I've already test printed it. It didn't work out. Had to do some tweaking on it. Actually, my buddy Connor did some tweaking on it, and uh, the new test print uh, hopefully will be available this evening, but uh, we'll see how that turns out. I think that's going to be nice. So here's another 8440. Sorry about the shaky cam. Uh, I'm actually holding you on my knee right now because I thought this might be the best place to do this. <laughs> uh, 9620, uh, that price is incorrect. Um, so B&B, &B, what, basically what happened was B&B, &B, uh, Brian from B&B &B invited me over to uh, their shop. They have a bunch of loose stuff that they're uh, trying to get out to some of their dealers. And um, so anyway, so I was going through boxes upon boxes of loose items uh, and uh, this just happened to be one of them. Another great custom project. Put on some big Michelin tires on this thing. Uh, throw on some handrails. And you've got a really nice mild custom. If you want to take it over the top, just hit that uh, rear end there. And uh, you'll have a really great looking custom tractor. So anyway, that's... You know, put that new rear end on. You got something really good. So uh, I've got a ton of these from B&B here in the last two weeks. Uh, these are the 5020, 5010s, 5020s, I guess. National Farm Toy Show tractor, or Nas yeah, National Farm Toy Museum tractor. Um, so these are all repower projects, basically, uh, is the idea behind those. So, okay. Moving on, just picked up a few more of those. Just got a nice deal on those. Uh, you can, you know, they're old. They've obviously been sitting in inventory for them forever. So you can imagine uh, if you buy a bunch, you can get a fairly good deal. Same thing here with this 5020. Uh, it's just a project tractor. I love repowering those, uh, sticking V8s in them or whatever. Um, they look nice. They're a timely project. Uh, so, you know, unfortunately that's a limited market, but, uh, because they get pretty expensive when you get done with them. But, and here is a nice 4455. Uh, I think this is going to be a personal tractor. I think this is going to end up maybe on a part, a portion of Dogtown. Uh, I've just got a lot of ideas for it just to kind of spruce that up. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily, uh, ever going to end up on the market. So, 
Here's a Nudson. Uh, this is the dual version with the big black K. Uh, you can see these Nudsons, they had some issues. You can see the paint peeling off the back here uh, pretty significantly. And um, that's why these don't have much value. Um, I'm going to see if I can't repaint this and gussy it up a little bit. I don't know. I've never customized one of those before, but I think it's got potential. Ford FW30. So this is a great custom project. Uh, pop the tires, put some new tires on there, just some real simple stuff. You can really dress these tractors up significantly. I, uh, they're, they're real fun to customize. I think, uh, you know, that's like a $10, $15 tractor, so not too pricey there. Okay, here we go. 75, 80 Alice Chalmer. Uh, so, you know, this, I'll probably actually leave these tires alone. I really like the wheels and tires that Ertl did with these. Uh, but handrails, some lights, especially on the cab, the rear fenders, and the front here, really dress this thing up, make it a nice, nice custom, kind of a, kind of a quicker flip, if you will. You can usually knock that out. So here is, obviously, uh, the box disintegrated on this. A New Holland, this is, uh, kind of a, I don't know, the, the first, uh, I don't know, I'm not trying, I don't know, not the newest New Holland, I guess is what I'm trying to say, but the, uh, the one previous to that with the triples on there, um, I'm thinking I'm going to put some mini toy truck and tractor 700 series tires on this thing, I think, and, uh, handrails, all that sort of thing, and then we'll see if, uh, if anybody likes that, I think, uh, I don't know, I think it'll look sharp when it's done. <clears throat> Here we've got a uh, yellow Steiger, um, you know, nice looking. It's just a, it's just a 325. It's a Series Three, of course. Um, same thing. Wheels, tire swap. Same thing as those Fords. Wheels, tire swap. Add a little handrail action on there. Uh, a couple lights on the rear fenders. And you got yourself a really nice tractor. There's another 5020. Here is a uh, big blue. Um, so, I don't know. I'm just going to play with that and see what happens. Uh, handrails on the side, some steps on the side, and um, just kind of see where this thing ends up when I'm done with it. <clears throat> I'm going to use my imagination on a dually driver, uh, flatbed. These are getting a little tougher to find, actually. Um, just a great flatbed here. Probably add a welder on the back. Things of that nature, just to dress it up. Another kind of quick, easy flip. Uh, then you can see another 8440 down there. And then here's a uh, Big Bud. This is a 370, so this is my from my personal collection. Um, I don't have this particular scheme on the, the Big Bud, and so I came across it, thought I'd better have that. Another um, Steiger wheel swap candidate. This is the Turbo Tiger II. Uh, nice looking tractor. <clears throat> This tractor I actually just bought for the wheels and tires. I mean, it was just a good enough deal uh, that there was, you know, there was money in those wheels and tires. Good, good standy tires there. Bought some Hestons to customize. I've never customized a Heston before. What the heck? Let's try it. A couple uh, John Deere, older John Deere, 7800. And uh, like that, the uh, 10 series or, yeah, that's a 10 series. Kind of, so I kind of bought that older 8,000 and 10 series that they had loose. Just got some pretty solid deals on those. Same thing with the uh, ACs. There's just a little potential there. And then uh, I just kind of thought this was neat. I actually didn't have this one. This is obviously an older casting 6030, uh, but I just didn't have it uh, in my collection. So I'm going to clean that up. Maybe put get some exhaust for it, things like that. And uh, we'll just stick that on a shelf somewhere. I like that. That's super heavy, by the way. So it makes me wonder, uh, I don't know who made this. I don't know if this is Ertl or if this is an aftermarket, if this is like a gunning or something like that. I, do, I just don't know. Um, and then, so I was digging through and there was this box and it had all of these in here. Now every single one of these needs some significant work on them. And obviously with uh, Ertl bringing out like kind of a, a newer version of these here recently. I don't know that the value sky high on these, but I think they're really cool and they're potential, uh, potentially really nice. So I'm just going to play with them. I bought several uh, castings, um, just various things, if you will. Just kind of bought the whole box, and uh, and then I found some other, uh, and I'm just not sure what these are to be honest with you. Um, but, uh, I don't know, stuff like this has always got potential, so. 
that's kind of the, uh, I think the box that's of any interest to you guys that I got from B&B. Um, the other stuff you'll see soon enough anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, big thanks to Barry and Brian for letting me come over. It was really great talking to those guys. They're super guys. You can't beat them. Uh, I really enjoyed just chatting with them, having a good time. Um, wish we could have stayed longer, but we had uh, we had to be in Indianapolis that evening. So uh, we only got to stay for maybe an hour or two, but it was super fun. Um, you know, it's always fun to get a look through farm toys, right? Especially when you got really nice guys to talk to while you're doing it. So, uh, if you're looking for something that I don't have on ForTheLoveOfTractors.com, check out B&B Farm Toys. Those guys, uh, they've got a lot of stuff, and they are great, great to deal with, great prices. It's super guys. So, all right, guys, I guess that'll do it for this one. Thank you for watching. Happy tractor hunting, guys.